My name is Bob Worley. I'm a researcher in climate change engagement and communication, and I'm also a co-founder of the Envirolution Cooperative based here in Manchester. Manchester Climate Change Assembly was a proposal that we put in to Manchester Climate Change Agency uh, because we felt like there needed to be something like this in Manchester. We really wanted a good representation of the people of Manchester. And so we held five different workshops with five different groups around the city and in different geographical areas. We looked at various different themes, different topics like transport, food and agriculture, buildings and energy and fashion and retail and started thinking about what we were able to do in our areas. What can we get going in our local neighbourhoods which is going to be a, a positive change and uh, really get people on board with it. Alongside that we started exploring what are our requirements of higher up as far as policy and infrastructure change from perhaps Manchester City Council or business or national government. And so that was the, that formed the two main outcomes of the, the climate assembly. So action plans for the different areas and a mandate which represents the requirements from higher up in order for us to be able to meet carbon reduction targets but also strive towards this sustainable society that we all want to live in. I think just getting to meet people with different perspectives, that has definitely been something that I've enjoyed because as a student sometimes you just hear more um, opinions from other students and we all tend to be very progressive on like climate uh, issues but everyone in the community assembly also cares a lot about climate change but then they bring in their own perspective of the problems that they are facing and I think the good part about this community assembly is that it's very representative so you've got people from different ages, different social, economic, religious backgrounds coming together and discussing their problems so I think that is one of the biggest highlights I've been really, really pleased with the demographic that we have as far as participants in the Climate Assembly because we have had lots of different levels of, of knowledge with the subject. So we have people who are very aware and can use a lot of, of terminology and are quite switched on with it all and are quite active. And then we have other people in the groups who have just got kids and I've maybe watched a David Attenborough documentary or something and just got a bit scared. And so, you know, they're thinking the same thing as, as most people do on this journey, which is what can I possibly do? What difference can I possibly make with just one person? And so Envirolution has always been about trying to link up all of these people, trying to engage that target group, that demographic of people, and uh, bring them together with people who are making positive changes in the community. And so show them that you can form groups, you can get involved in things that are going on. It's not just you. We are a community interest company anyway, so for us getting out into all the different neighbourhoods around Great Manchester is like a key thing and something really important to us. So to be able to do this, it's just been great because we've been able to educate around like what we do but then gather that information from what people need and that's like more important than anything. My name's Carl Peachy, I live in South Manchester, so Didsbury. Hearing from people, presenting you know, expertly, or expert opinions is obviously of massive value because you have a certain level of knowledge, you can always, there's always more to learn, isn't there? But also connecting with other like-minded people, I think it's been really good. And certainly in our work group, having the little WhatsApp group that we've got, so we started to communicate more regularly off the back of that. Um, and I think going forwards, we're probably going to stay connected and try and implement some changes, you know, within our own circle of friends, but the broader, the broader community as well. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing how that's going to go. Actually, it's been difficult to undo that psychology that goes with clothes. I think you need a very representative group to talk about their problems. For instance, I can convey some of the problems that I face as a minority in the climate movement, but my problems will be different from someone, say, who has a disability. And so I think that just bringing together these voices is really important. The COP conferences have uh, 
um, brought about very little tangible results as far as real action on climate change. And you know, there's many reasons for that. But the Paris Agreement is still an achievement and it's still something that has never been done before in the history of the human race. The reason why Glasgow is so important is because now it's time to actually put those those plans, those pledges into place. And so what is your plan for getting to that level of carbon emission reduction or whatever it might be? But this is all stuff that just people hear about on the news and you know they, they'll hear talk about it, they'll see it in the papers or whatever. And there's no real engagement with that. There is a real disconnect between the, the communities on the ground and what's what's happening higher up. So any kind of method that you can use to try and bridge that gap with otherwise inaccessible world leaders or policy makers is, is definitely going to be a good thing because it, it, again it makes people more engaged with the subject itself and it makes them feel like they are working towards that same goal. So taking the, the project to COP26 and presenting it to the COP26 coalition and others will then give the people of Manchester the chance to, to represent how they feel and what, what they think is important and what can be done in other parts of the world. It'll be really interesting to see actually what's going to be presented to the, to the, to the, um, the committee and you know what action is going to be taken from it, are they going to listen to it, is it just going to get brushed aside. Um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see like the prominence of it and hopefully hopefully it's gonna, you know, pique some interest. Something that never ceases to amaze me uh, when working on these kinds of projects is how much can be done in such a short space of time and also how little time it can take groups to really bond and gel when they're working towards a common theme. And you can see already that the groups are working really well together and when they're all brought together in the, the large group session at the Friends Meeting House then, it was really magical to see because you, you could sense the, the energy in the room, I suppose. Everybody was sort of spurred on by everyone else. Um, yeah, that's where the magic's at. I think I could go on for like three more months or six more months because there's always so much that you learn from others but also about what's happening in the city and I feel like initiatives like this should be implemented maybe not every week but every month so that citizens just get an idea of what change is taking place in the city especially in local communities so I think I as someone who's really interested in these issues I could engage in these discussions for months. <laughs> to try and create something which is going to represent this. Like I said, this could be... Uh, so last night we uh, decided on the creation of the mandate and what form it was going to take. And so each of the different groups uh, came up with all the different ideas. And we tried to involve as many of that, those ideas as possible into the final form of the mandate. What I really wanted to do was try and have something which represents it, which symbolises it, um, because that's, that document of paper can just be too easily just filed away and just, oh yeah, thank you very much for that, very interesting, and slot that away. But if we have something else, if we have a symbol which can represent that and people can get behind, then that gives it a lot more weight. And so the symbol that was um, decided on last night was the, the symbol of the green bee. So the bee of Manchester is obviously quite a symbolic icon and it was decided that a green bee of Manchester could be used in all sorts of different ways. It's not the scale. <laughs> <laughs> as, as communities to kind of talk about what was important to us. The Climate Assembly was really, I, th I thought it was really good, it was really encouraging to see many people getting on board with the need to do more, yeah? the need to do something about the, the climate emergency that's, that's happening all around us. Um, and I'd really like, I'd hope to see that continue um, we need more of that really. The fact that the work's happening on this mandate, the fact it's going to COP26, you know, the fact we are Manchester and we've got that spirit behind us, 
to me is really important. So that's why I'm sort of really pleased to be invited here tonight. We will need to see action. We will need to see action soon. I have grandchildren. I want them to have grandchildren. If we don't alter things a lot, that will not happen. And we are investing in the future. We have to do that. We all have to do that. And we have to do it starting now. Manchester's first ever climate change assembly is just the beginning as far as this project and our wider goals are concerned. So this is the catalyst. We've brought together some amazing people from around Manchester and we've had a look at what we can do and what we can get going and we've inspired each other and motivated each other to do that. But we've also looked at what we can't do, um, so what we need help and support and change made from higher up from outside of our hands. And so those goals are still the things to achieve and it's also about trying to get more people in the room to have these kinds of conversations. So the, the Climate Change Assembly is just the beginning.